Hi, I'm Tim Teller, Canon for Music at St. John's Cathedral. I'm going to say a couple words about the music for this Sunday, December 10th. This is the second Sunday uh, of Advent, and this week we've got a prelude and postlude of the same name by J.S. Bach. They are both entitled Choral Prelude on Nun Kum der Heiden Heiland, which translates to Now Come, Savior of the Heathen, although nowadays it's usually, tr usually translated as Savior of the Nations. And this, um, these are choral preludes based on the very well-known uh, hymn tune of the same name, which we actually have in the hymnal 1982, and we sing once in a while. Savior of the nations, come. We sing that during Advent, and that's the exact tune these are based on. They both come from a set, a set of choral preludes that Bach assembled late in life during the 1740s when he was the director of music at uh, St. Thomas Church in Leipzig, Germany. And um, they were put together to basically lay out the different seasons of the church year. They follow the church year chronologically. And although they were assembled into a collection late in life, Bach actually wrote most of them at much earlier periods of his life. And then he later on collected them together. They both have the same name, but they're very different pieces. They represent two very different styles of choral prelude. The first opening prelude piece that I'm playing is actually uh, what's known as an ornamented chorale. And what this means is Bach takes the melody, or the, the tune of the chorale, and he embellishes it greatly with, tr with trills and runs and all these florid patterns into this really lyrical singing melody in the right hand that's accompanied by a softer left hand and pedal. And you really wouldn't recognize the tune because it is so highly elaborated, but it is, it is in there. The postlude is what's called a cantus firmus chorale. And what that means is Bach takes the chorale tune and sets the tune itself in large, long pedal notes over which the manuals play a figuration. So if you listen really carefully, even though it goes very slowly, you can hear the tune distinctly coming out in the pedals loudly underneath figurations in the manuals. But the, the notes are really stretched out and long. Our Offertory anthem this week is Come Thou Long Expected Jesus by 20th century English composer and educator Henry Lee. Lee was the um, director of music at Christ Church Cathedral in Oxford from 1909 to 1926. And he also taught music at the Royal College of Music. This piece is a good example of a, a piece by Lee. It's very melodic and it sets the text in a very effective and dramatic way. I hope you enjoy the music this week.